Yeah, it was a tough loss. You know, we let a lead slip away, and it's hard to recover when you give up six in one inning. But we had plenty of chances to score today. We left a lot of runners on. We are swinging the bats better, in my opinion. Uh, we did we did swing at some too many pitches out of the zone. Um, just uh, got to clean that up a little bit before this week. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, too many little missed opportunities to get one here, maybe two there. Um, runner first and second, second, third, one out, things like that. We just didn't – we didn't drive people in all the time. So credit to Auburn. They fought back after we, we had them on the ropes. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it really probably boiled down to a couple of free passes here and there and pitch counts getting up and big swing. You know, the home run that went over the big left field walls. He hit it good, but it was a fly ball. It just barely cleared the walls. It was coming down. And, you know, that's the way it works when you're playing with uh, Quirky Parks. And uh, it got us today. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, Dave, uh, you know, Cooper McMurray, he came in super hot, but you guys had really handled him those first two games. I think he had seven strikeouts, but he broke out today with a home run, a single. I think he was on base four times. Just what what you think about the way he responded after a couple pretty tough games? Yeah, he did a really good job. And, you know, he had to get his hits off left-handed pitching today for the most part and drove in four runs. Uh, the big swing was that three-run homer. Looked like we might get out of that inning with the one-run lead. And then, uh, you know, the fly ball blew out of the park. All of a sudden, we're down a couple, uh, but he had a he had a good day. He was he was the difference for him. And and then the bullpen's been so good. What did you see in the sixth inning? Obviously, you used three guys, and like you say, y'all, you, you I guess you were one of bad from getting out of it, and didn't didn't quite happen. What what did you see from the bullpen there, and, and how unusual was that based on how they performed this year? Just a couple of mistakes, you know. You, Cooper Dossett comes in, and man, he throws two really good pitches, counts one and two, and then. Uh, Threw it right down the middle, and the guy hit it out of the park, and kind of shocked you a little bit. And then he he might have given up another hit. I don't remember exactly what happened, but he, he just didn't locate the finish. And uh, you know, I, I think Gackle, you know, he just he got behind the count, walked a couple of people. He hadn't been doing that. You know, he only threw a few pitches the other day. He's had a couple of days to rest, and he was ready to go. It just uh, it just didn't happen for him today. So. Um, I thought Fisher came in, tough situation. He just, you know, gave up the fly ball. It turned into a three-run homer and uh, kind of a tough luck pitcher uh, on that swing. But he, he he gave us a chance to get back in it. You know, we came back in the next inning and had, uh, I don't know, runners at first and second, one out. Maybe we already had one run in and we didn't score. And uh, – you know, that that was that was a chance for us to really, you know, maybe gut punch them a little bit after they score six and take the lead. We at a minimum we should have tied it there. And we didn't. And uh one big hit we're ahead. So uh typical game three got a little crazy. I guess on a happier note, uh you, you became a grandfather. I know you're going back and forth. Just what was what was the this weekend like for you and what's it like uh, having three grandkids all of a sudden? Well, it was a great weekend. Um, wasn't really step back and take a look at it. <laughs> it was easy for me. Uh, my daughter had to carry three babies in her for a long time, and it's not fun, I'm sure. And I'm uh, really proud of her. Uh, it was just back and forth on the plane a few times, and it was all worth it, though. And it feels great. I'm glad they're here, glad they're being taken care of, and, uh, you know, looking forward to watching them grow up. Hey, thanks. I might have a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Ellis? Yeah, Coach, you hadn't really had a ton of close games these last few weeks, so how good was it this weekend from an evaluation standpoint? Three straight, back-to-back, tied to the end game, just to see what some of your pieces are made of a little bit. Yeah, I did. And that's what I told him after the game. I said, winning's hard. You know, it. we won one to nothing, five, four, six, four, five, whatever it was last night. And then, you know, today's game was a one-run game going into the – eighth inning and uh and we lost by two but you know we just just talked about you know the little the difference between winning and losing those close games are just so it's just fine it's little things you know just driving in a run making contact making a pitch here or there maybe turning a double play whatever um and I, and I told them in this league 
You know, you can you can run off a couple three in a row. You can run five in a row, but you can get beat five times real quick in this league. If you you let up a little bit, or if you don't execute, you'll find yourself, you know, five hundred. And uh, you know, it's uh, our schedule is amazing. Uh, you know, next weekend we got LSU, we got Ole Miss. I mean, you go on and on. It's just nobody cares. They just you got to win when you can. And uh, but at the same time, I told them it was a great weekend. We won two out of three on the road against a ranked team a team that was struggling. They were going to fight us till the end and they did. And, uh, you know, we were real close to sweeping them in their own park, but, but we didn't, but we could have. So maybe next time we will. And for you personally, I guess coming into the year, you knew there might be a possibility that a weekend like this would happen for you where you might have to make a trip or you might have to go do grandfather duty. Is it, is it a little bit of a sigh of relief to have this? I'm not out of the way. I mean, you still have grandkids, but that, you know, this situation has already played out and now you can kind of, move forward and not be on the edge of wondering yeah. when you're going to get that call and stuff like that. Yeah. Really the relief to me is just that, you know, they've been delivered and they're healthy. Uh, my daughter's fine. And uh, you know, that that's the relief. It's, it wasn't a problem for me at all mentally um, just excited. Like, you know, like my wife is and my other daughter and relatives and Jacob's family. So uh you know, just happy every everything is good. Um, and yeah, but yeah, it's uh, I'm excited about the future. Hush, go ahead. Hey, Dave. Uh, Molina looked really good those first three innings, and they kind of really had to battle those next two. Just what did you see out of him today? Yeah, the the fourth the fourth inning, you know, we we had a long at bat, and uh, you know, you figure he's going to be well rested, he hadn't thrown very many pitches, and you know, that's the shutdown inning. It ended up being a shutdown inning, but had to work for it. You know, there might have been a walk or two that inning. And I think he got frustrated. He didn't get some close calls. And, you know, usually that doesn't help. The umpire a lot of times will not give you those. They see you out there acting frustrated. Um, you know, I think it's a good learning experience. But, uh, yeah, the fourth and fifth, you know, they just – there's just way too many pitches thrown, too many – Wait, wasted pitches, you know, not really close. And, uh, you know, Auburn didn't have to work a couple of times to get base runners on. It was four, four pitch walk and a five pitch walk and stuff like that, you know. And, and if we can clean that up, I mean, we can get seven out of it because they don't hit it. I mean, they gave up a couple of hits and, uh, you know, but he gave up four walks. They started hitting the ball hard there the last inning because he was behind in the count and, uh, you know, just got to we got to we got to get better with that. But he's a really good pitcher, really hard to hit. Um, you know the games are going to get better and tougher as we move on. So hopefully, uh, hopefully next weekend he'll pitch next Saturday against LSU and he can give us a few more quality innings. And Diggs had been you know hitless this weekend until you know getting the two big hits for you today. So what, how good was that to see him deliver in those spots? Yeah, it was good. You know, we uh, we need him. He's a tough out. Takes a lot of pitches, sometimes too many. Um, but this weekend, you know, it just seemed like he went out of the zone a little bit. And I think he started pressing. But for him to get a couple of big hits, a couple of a double and a triple, uh, you know, it was big. And uh, like I said, we had a chance to score more. But we uh, we just didn't get – we didn't get a few more hits down the road. Last thing I have, Fisher threw, I think, 39 pitches today. Does that change how you, if, if you'll start him on midweek, or do you know that yet? Yeah, we don't know that yet, but we – I mean, we have a plan. And, uh, you know, if he pitched today and he's not ready to go Tuesday in any <clears throat> in any role, uh, then that's fine, get him ready for the weekend. But uh, we've got some guys that are ready to go and that, that need to pitch and – you know, we're going to do what we can to win that game on Tuesday, but uh, we got to get some guys on the mound. We got to get some guys from at bats and, you know, get ready for the weekend next weekend. Christina, Bob, last two questions, please. Yeah, Coach, Ty Wilmsmeyer had a couple of really good plays there in the field just with the diving catch and then later when he actually dropped the ball and still got the out. Just what did you see from those two plays and then what have you liked from him in the field so far? Well, he's a – He's what I would call an above average or a plus defender and center. Uh, he's got an accurate arm. <clears throat> he showed that on that on that throw to third, and because he threw it over the cutoff man, but he was throwing to third, made a perfect throw, and uh, obviously we got the out there. 
Um, who knows what would have happened if we didn't, but, and then I also, you know, I've seen him run left and right, run down balls. Uh, that's why he's out there. It's a big center field here as well. Um, you know, the ball in center field, um, he got to it, but he didn't find the fence. And then, you know, he kind of ran into it right about the time he was catching the ball. Well, he's got to know where it's at. So, uh, there was a lot of good there and there was some bad. The good was that he threw the runner out of third. The bad was he should have just caught the ball in the first place. But he knows that. Um, you know, we've got to do a better job when we get close to the fence. Bob, close it out. Yeah, Dave, uh, I know LSU's obviously, you know, coming in, but you have UALR first. You've played them a few times. They've knocked you off a couple times. You're facing one of your old assistants and Chris. Just kind of how, how do you approach that game? And just how have you thought about how that series has gone since you, you guys started playing? Well, you know, how I approach it. I mean, we're going to, you know, we'll get back. Tomorrow will be a day off for our team uh, on Sunday, well-deserved, and then we'll uh, – We'll have some work. We'll, we'll do a little working out, maybe even some team workout on a Monday. And a lot of times you don't get to work out on Monday because you're playing on Sunday. Uh, but we'll, you know, see who's who's feeling good. And uh, we get a few things we got to go over as a, as a team. And then, you know, how we're going to work it is we're going to try to win the game, obviously. Um, I do need to fill in a few guys. I need to get some at-bats. We've got, we've got some good pitchers that need to pitch. We need to see if we need to add them to our roster uh, on the weekend. You know, we got some – guys that uh, have good stuff that uh, in a couple of cases they're coming off rehab or they're coming off sickness. And, uh, you know, maybe we're going to put them on the roster against LSU. It'd be good to see him pitch well on Tuesday. And then if, if facing Chris, you know, he's a guy you're obviously familiar with and th thoughts on that. Some good games, you know, um, they they beat us a couple, three times and we beat them a few times and uh, you know, they have a really good team this year. I think they're picked to win their league and, they were playing Morehead State this weekend. I knew they shut them out last night. I don't know what went on today. But, uh, you know, if you're picked to win your league, you're, you've got a veteran team, and that's what he has. He's, he's got experienced older kids, and uh, they're going to give us everything we can handle on Tuesday. Squeeze in one more. You, you alluded to it a little bit, but you're, you're five and one. I know when you win the first two, you want to sweep, but five and one, I think most coaches would take that to start off the SEC. Just kind of how do you feel where you are after two series? Well, I feel like we've learned a lot about our team, you know, as far as wins and losses. You know, if you play good, it usually takes care of itself. Uh, definitely feel good about having five wins out of six in, in this league. Uh, you know, I think that probably shouldn't be coaches if I wasn't disappointed that we got beat today. I am, but I'm still not – I'm not disappointed with the team or the effort. Uh, I think they've been playing hard, and, you uh, know, we've still got a long way to, to go. We're going to grow and get better. Um you know, and we're going to do it in league play because the competition in the SEC, it's uh, it's it's unforgiving. And uh, you know, like I told them today, we, you want to win in this league, you got to you got to do all the little things right. You got to you got to you know, you got to take advantage of some things. And we didn't do that today. But I feel great about being five and one. Six and zero oh would have been better. But hey, we're 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 on our way. And just kind of, I saw you broke your Twitter silence announcing your grandkids. So, you know, it's your like second that. tweet of the year. <laughs> yeah, you know, every now and then I just decide to put that out there. And, no, it's uh, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't say a whole lot on Twitter because, uh, you know, I only say something when I need to say something. And I felt like I needed to get something out because a lot of people comment. A lot of people uh, wondering, uh, didn't know what was going on, which I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I just wanted to make a little comment there. I'm going to let my – daughter and her husband, you know, they, they can have it from here. But, uh, you know, I told them I was going to do that, just put that out and let everybody know that they arrived and we're all, we're all super excited about it. Okay. Thanks. You never say anything about it, but I appreciate it. I was just commenting. <laughs> appreciate the time.